Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, eos. <laughs> I know. Trust me. I know. I, I, I really know that I shouldn't do that on camera, but I just don't care. Um, so, folks, EO, establishing operation. If you're as old as I am, then when you first learned about establishing operations, there wasn't even a term called a motivating operation. But today, we use EOs as a particular type of motivating operation. So, an EO does this. Well, first off, I should tell you what it is. Establishing operation. So, an EO establishes the effectiveness of a reinforcer. So, <laughs> hold on. Because remember, motivating operations change the value of... Actually, it should be motivating operations change the value of reinforcers, right? Because they happen before the three-term contingency. Okay, so, um, so the establishing operation uh, makes the, whatever reinforcer is over here more valuable. One of the greatest, one of the easiest ways to establish the value of a reinforcer, in other words, creating an establishing operation, is to deprive someone of something. If you deprive me of, oh, I don't know, chips. I love chips. If you deprive me of chips, I will do a lot of work to get those darn chips. Why? Because you have increased the value of the chips for me. And that said, I think I do. The cameraman, do we have any chips? Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. How, how much work do I have to do to get those chips? You'll find out. No, shizzle. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, people. Goodbye.